Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with Vios. She's needing affection right now apparently, so she decided to join us tonight. But uh, I am here with my Ipsy bag and it is stuff, both with stuff from last month and this month. I'm actually really mad at Ipsy this time around and once I get to my new stuff, I'll explain why. First, let's go over the old stuff, shall we? So first off, I got this really awesome full-size Smashbox product I'm really happy with. This is the Studio Skin 24-Hour Waterproof Concealer in the shade... In the shade Fair. <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. This was actually really nice under my eyes. It didn't get too crepey or creasy or oily or anything like that of the things that I have problems with. So yay for sending me a $25 concealer, Ipsy. They also sent me this Sunday Cosmetics, uh, not eyeshadow, <laughs> nail polish in number 45. Really pretty color. Uh, they sent me nail polish just three months in a row though, so I was a little irritated to get it. But this was really pretty, so it's hard to be that mad at it. Uh, this product I really enjoyed. This is the Sugar uh, Cosmetics Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Coal Eyeliner in Green Light. And it is this right here. It does stay really nicely along the lower lash line, so I have no complaints. Like, what about I'm not on the right page right now. I'm actually on the page for my Yes Oh Yas book uh, thing. Next, we have the BKR The Water Bomb. I did actually really enjoy this. It is kind of heavily fragranced. Uh, you can't smell it too bad while it's on the lips, but especially in the tub, you can smell it product is a little hard to get to because the tub is kind of small and I have fingernails, but I did really enjoy the product. And finally, we have the product that actually did not work for me this month at all. It is the Mellow Cosmetics Creamy Matte Lipstick. Mine is in the shade Candy Floss. And a lot of people complained that this was a really drying lipstick. I didn't even get to that point. Cause I was like, I'll just put gloss on top of it and we'll see how it goes. This shade looks a hundred shades of hideous on me. No, but the packaging is really like sleek and nice and kind of bums me out that this didn't work for me because yeah, it just did. Anyways, out with the old and with the new, not a huge fan of orange, especially as far as my accessories are concerned. So I will not be keeping this bag and let's just get right into what made me mad. Even following my Ipsy bags all year, you would know that I had gotten this Hikari cream pigment twice before. Once in this mini size and once in a full size. I can't even review this. I actually emailed them and was like, you guys sent me a duplicate product. What the heck? And they're like, oh no, it's not a duplicate because this is a different shade. And I'm like, I still can't review it. I still can't get my points made me really mad at Ipsy and especially with my Yes Oh Yas bags being really good. They on the fence. Like they've been on the fence for a while and this made me really mad. Because the whole thing about Ipsy is that you're not supposed to get repeat products. And giving me a different color, as pretty as this color admittedly is, is still the same product. This is in the shade Fierce. And these are nice shadows. The reason why I didn't keep the last one was because it I don't it was in the shade I think mink and I just don't wear a lot of bronzy deeper bronzy shades all over the lid which is what usually in singles is usually about what I keep around and I don't have a uh, wipe over here because I suck. Now it's all over my hand. I thought that through. Next is the Ciate London Glow 2 Highlighter. I've seen a lot of people get it this month. This is a mini, but I believe this is relatively new, maybe. But this is it right here. It looks super glittery. Mine is in the shade Moon Dust, which I can enjoy a glittery highlighter on certain occasions, but it's not something I would necessarily want to wear every day. I hope this is magnetic. Come here, gaming. Because, I mean, this is plastic packaging. This is obviously not meant to be long term. Woo! And now it's all over my shirt. That is really pretty. I mean that's a heavy swatch of it but that is really pretty. Can I wipe this on you? Do you want to be glittery? You want to be glittery don't you? Next we have a pixie blush. Let's see uh what do you call it exactly? 
the Pixie Fresh Face Blush in Beach Rose, and it's sealed. Why didn't I check to see if this was sealed? At least it's a quick seal. Pixie Blush. It's kind of a neutrally shade. Let's see. Oh, it's really soft. I mean, that that is hecka smooth right there. Yep, just like a super natural looking blush. I have to sniff everything because some things smell really bad and I don't want them going anywhere near me. And two more products, one of which I just dropped on my dog. My apologies. Here is the Hey Honey Take Away the Drama Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel Off Mask. It's just a mini. Uh, I believe this is sealed. Yeah, this is sealed, but uh, this is actually like a straight up copper colored mask. I've seen pictures of it. It's kind of crazy looking. And finally, we have the Half Cake Lip Fondant Lip Product, because I don't really know what to call this. I think this is like a liquid lipstick. It is in the shade Girl Crush. And I got a girl crush. Hate to admit it. I'm sorry, I can't sing. But uh, this is a really pretty, like, fiery red. Fiery tomato -y red. Let's see, you, you come from a company called Cake. How do you smell? Not as good as I was hoping. I think I have some on my nose. You're not smelling as cake like as I was hoping. No, this is like a thin feeling liquid lipstick just based off of first impressions. So that is it as far as the products themselves. Like I said, they're definitely on my hit list right now because A, I'm really enjoying a different bag and I don't need to be getting three bags every month for the rest of my life. And B, they don't need to be sending me repeat products. I have been a subscriber to Ipsy since 2013. So they know what I like and what I don't like. And when I got this specifically last time, I specifically told them in my review, stop sending me this. And they did it again. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.